Hey, Jill, you're energetic ninja. So set yourself up for the win. Like if there's something you want, you have to set yourself up for the win. And there's three ways to do this. The first thing you need to do is get really clear on what you want. Like what is it you want with regards to your business? What is it you want with regards to your body? What is it you want with regards to your relationship? What is it you want with regards to living based on your purpose? What do you want? Get great clarity around this, right? Because you need to know what you want in order to be able to win at it. Otherwise, you're just like throwing darts at a wall and hoping something sticks, which does not make you more accurate. It does not save you time and it wastes a lot of energy and effort, okay? So first off, decide what you want. Second, you need to create the environment so you can win. So if you need to get up earlier, you need to go to bed earlier. If you need to do the gym first thing in the morning, like lay the clothes out beside your bed so it's the first thing you pull on. Like me, last week I said I needed to start juicing in the morning again, so I moved stuff around in my pantry so my juicer was easy to grab. So the vegetables are the first thing I see in the morning. Like I set up the environment for me to win, okay? Create the environment so you can win. Third thing, you need to create the time so you can do it. Because the thing is, is what you have been doing got you right here, right now. But you need to create a different amount of time so that you can go after what it is you want now, right? So the best way to create time is to start saying no. Say no to everything that doesn't get you towards your win. Say no to use of scrolling on social media. Say no to coffee dates that really are all just about gossiping. Say no to doing extra projects. Say no to volunteer stuff. Like it's your life. And if it isn't setting you up to win at what it is you want in your relationships and your body and your business and with regards to living based on your purpose, say no. That's how you reclaim your time. Okay, you've got to set yourself up for the win, right? By creating the environment that you need to make it happen, by creating the space and the time you need to do it, and by deciding what it is you truly want, right? And if you really want to go for it, figure out your reason why too and make sure that it ties in with that because when it ties in with your reason why you have more energy you have more passion you have more desire to make it happen which means you're likely to get there because at some point as you're going it's going to get a little hard and your reason why is what pulls you through that part of it where your brain is saying i want to stop doing this i want to stop doing this because it's getting uncomfortable your reason why has to get you through that piece okay but you got to set yourself up for the win and if you're not setting yourself up for the win then you don't want it bad enough right? Because if you don't shift something in your environment to go after something new that you want, like nothing's going to change. You're not going to get there. It's going to feel so painful to do it that likely you'll stop right before you get there. So set yourself up for the win. Like create the environment so that you can do this.